Welcome everyone to the module on Health Economics and Quantitative Methods. My name is Larry Bartlett and I'm one of the three faculty members that had the pleasure of designing this module for you. I'm going to be uh, teaching four of the uh, units focused on health economics. Uh, I'll talk with you in a bit about them, but maybe just a word about who I am so you have a, a better sense of that. Um, ac academic background, my bachelor's is in psychology from Cornell. Uh, my master's degrees are in health services administration, so I'm kind of one of you guys, and health economics from the University of Michigan. And I got my PhD in economics way back when, actually from right here at GW. Uh, on the work side, my early career actually was in health services administration, both in the United States and abroad. Uh, for about 25 or more years, I ran a healthcare policy and research firm here in the, uh, in the DC area, but with a national focus, so did lots of economic studies. Um, when I sold that company about seven years ago, I moved into teaching here at GW. I teach courses in health economics and financing, and also a seminar in cost containment, and really enjoy it. I, I'm excited about uh, joining you for these, uh, these ses sessions on health economics. And I should tell you, it's a broad field. There's a lot to, uh, to cover. And we're not going to do the whole breadth justice in the four units that I'm going to be with you for. Um, so what I've really tried to do is pick and choose almost sort of a, a, a sampling, if you will, of some of the key issues, the key topics, the key concepts in health economics that'll serve you well, not just in this course, but down the road in terms of uh, my hope is that with a combination of uh, some basic core theory, uh, some talking about some of the key research findings, uh, some talk about some trends, and looking at those trends that I think you're going to be seeing uh, down the road, uh, talking about them in terms of what's underneath and what some of the economic incentives are. You know, my hope is going to, is that this type of thing is really going to enhance the knowledge base, the skill sets that you're picking up in your job, your everyday job, but also throughout this program so that with the goal that um, this will really help to uh, inform your decision making and make you better at what you do, make you better in your career. So excited to be with you and looking forward to getting started. Uh, hello, my name is Avi Dor. I'm a healthcare economist, and I am a professor of health policy and management uh, in the Milken Institute School of Public Health, George Washington University. I have been teaching at GW since 2007, I believe, and I teach students at various levels. I teach mostly healthcare economics at the levels of uh, masters to masters of public health students in residential classes. And I also teach a PhD level course on the same subject. And both are very dear uh, to my heart and very interesting to teach. Uh, my, I'm very research active. Um, my area of research at the moment is understanding the price mechanism in healthcare markets. How do markets function? How does information to the consumer ultimately affect pr prices paid uh, for private medical services? What's the role of competition? What is the role of consumer awareness uh, and the like? And I've written quite extensively about this area in healthcare financing. And I have been fortunate to receive lots of support from funding agencies such as the National Institutes of Health, NIH, as well as other federal agencies who, in addition to clinical research, also support research uh, that is geared towards understanding uh, how health economics forces shape medical decision making and medical outcomes. So I've also been uh, lucky enough to be principal investigator of a number of large such grants funded by the NIH. And I'm very excited about this additional opportunity to share my knowledge and experiences with you, and hopefully it will be a two-way experience as well. Hi, I'm Leah Maselink. I'm the instructor for the quantitative methods portion of this course. 
I'm a faculty member in the Department of Health Policy and Management at George Washington University. I've been a member of the department since 2011. Uh, my research area is in the healthcare workforce, and I actually do both quantitative and qualitative research. And I've been teaching quantitative methods the entire time I've been at GW, and I actually began teaching quantitative methods even before that as a PhD student at UNC Chapel Hill. I did my PhD in the Department of Health Policy and Management there, as well as a postdoc at the School of Nursing at Chapel Hill. So I really get excited about helping people build their confidence and find tools to work with quantitative data. And I'm looking forward to doing that with you as well. One thing to note is that this semester we'll be working in Excel and it will be behoove you to have access to a PC version of Excel if you at all have a choice. There are ways to make it work on a Mac as well, but we can, we'll be teaching mostly to the PC version of Excel. So I hope that that will be a valuable tool for you. I know that there are a lot of capabilities that my students always discover that they never knew that they, that they had in Excel. So I hope it's valuable for you, and I'm looking forward to working with you. Thanks.